Hello and welcome to LessonZilla. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can block USB ports on your devices using an Intune policy. So let's go ahead and see how it's done. I've logged into portal.office.com using my global administrator account. I'm going to click on admin. This will take me to admin center. Click on show all and click on Endpoint Manager. This will open up your Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Um, if you don't want to go through all those steps, you can directly type the uh, URL endpoint.microsoft.com and log in using your Global Administrator or Intune Administrator account. So once you're here, click on Endpoint Security. Look for Attack Service Reduction under Manage. Now in here, we're going to create a policy. Click Create Policy. Select the device platform, Windows 10 and later. Select a profile. It is going to be Device Control. Okay, hit Create button. Give it a user-friendly name. I'm going to call it Block USB Ports. You can give it a description if you like and click Next button. Once you're here, scroll down. And this is the setting that we are going to enable, block removal storage. If you hover over the eye icon, it will tell you what that setting actually does. So in this case, it blocks the use of removal storage on the device. So this is the setting we would like to enable. Click yes and click next button. In here, if you like, you can add tags. In this tutorial, I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to click Next. Now, this is the page where you're going to assign this policy to a group. Now, in order for this policy to work, you can either assign it to all users or all devices, or you can assign it to a specific group. So that's in the included group setting. If you want to exclude a certain um, set of um, devices or users, you can so do so in the excluded groups. Um, in this example, what I'm going to do and what I also suggest is that you create a pilot group or a test group and test this policy out before you assign it to the entire organization. So it's safer and it's recommended that you do this testing with a pilot group instead of going with old all users and all devices to begin with. So in this example, I'm going to select uh, my pilot group or my test group. Okay, so I've selected my group. I don't have any exclusions, so I'm just going to keep that setting as it is. I'm going to hit next. Uh, that's pretty much it and hit create and this should create the policy and apply to that um, pilot group of devices. Now, unfortunately, I don't have access to a physical uh, test machine, so I cannot um, show you in this video if it actually works um, in real life. Um, but this is the policy and I've tested this before uh, on an actual physical device and it has worked. So um, test it out on a test group as I recommend. Um, and see if it works and if it is working the way you expect it to work you can obviously come back to this policy and change the assignment group to include all the groups um, for example all users or all devices in your organization um, and resave the policy and it will apply to um, the appropriate um, groups Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, comments, uh, please leave a comment below um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.